And this integral, I believe there are there are a couple of couple of ways to do it. For example, here we can try this, or we try the this time this one, this time this one, then try to use the trigonometric formulas to you know try to find many well not many at least a couple of ways couple of possibilities uh, to, to do this integral but they're not easy I don't think they are very simple now here, here is a very nice method very very nice uh, this is the idea I try to use uh, like uh, partial fractions 2 plus cosine x the other one is sine x and uh, this is a uh, dx right okay the <laughs> the objective that I have to restore equal sign if this is possible in them in partial fractions so what to multiply this one plus this one times this one is a one or certain number you know then it's obviously that this time this one is a uh, sine square and uh, I try to make a cosine square, so it becomes a one, right? So this one, I, I'm using this two minus cosine square. Co two minus cosine. So this one times this one is a uh, sine square. This one times this one is a uh, four minus cosine square, isn't it? Now. It has to be positive, then make a one, right? So I put this minus sign here, minus sign here. So it becomes a, it becomes minus three, right? Yeah, good. So this one plus this one is equal to negative three over this, negative three over this product. So I multiply negative one third. Then they are equal. See, once equal signs are restored, see I can, I'm a, I'm happy. I, it becomes a two simple integrals. See what's the techniques of integration? Is a changing, changing. Changing the integral function to what I want at the same time that I maintain equal sign. That's the techniques of integration. So this one is equal to now one third, one third of this one, right? This integral. This is a two plus cosine x, and uh, sine x dx is a d. 2 plus cosine x. This is a negative sine x dx. I have a positive, so easy. Put a negative here. And uh, minus, right? Minus, let me put a one third out. And uh, this is integral. Integral two out. This is two out. This is a cosecant, right? Cosecant x dx. That's the second one. Yeah. And uh, my plus minus minus become plus. Integral cosine over sine is a cotangent. Yeah, good. So everything can be done nicely. So the, this one is equal to negative one third. 
no positive, right? Sorry, negative positive. Log uh, two plus cosine x because this never be negative. And this one time, this one is a uh, plus two over three. This one is a uh, log uh, cosecant x minus cotangent x. That is a, that is the integral of a cosecant. Cotangent cotangent is a neg this was negative, huh? Cotangent integral is a negative log cosecant, right? So this becomes a one third. Cosecant x, yeah, plus c. That's it. That is a yeah. That is a result. No, log cotangent integral is a negative, right? Negative become become plus log uh, cosecant x plus c. Yeah. Okay, that is a very, very nice method. Very nice method. Very, very good. Thank you.